So don't monkey this up, quote, monkey this up by trying to embrace a socialist agenda with huge tax increases, unquote. That is a racist statement now. And yet the people of Florida are not stupid. They're not going to buy the radicalism and the radical media. One of the things that's actually quite sad is what the Democrat Party has done to itself. A guy like Gillum, he's one of their young leaders. It's really too bad that young people, millennials if you wish to call them that, looking to the Democrat Party, looking to Democrat leaders, have to listen to socialists who race bait. Imagine if their leaders, still liberal, would actually debate ideas and issues. As opposed to this stuff. Now, if DeSantis was a racist, why play around with the word monkey? Monkey this up by trying to embrace a socialist agenda with huge tax increase. Why not just say it if you're a racist? Because he's not. The question I have is Mr. Gillum a racist. For taking this issue and twisting it like this and using it and smearing his opponent. Does it cut both ways? Remember when they tried to do this to Mitt Romney? Phrases that he used, other people. This is supposed to be a battle of ideas. How does this help the people of Florida, the citizens of Florida? But this guy, Gillum, is a radical. And Floridians are not radicals. People go to Florida to escape the smothering taxes and regulations in parts of the other country, of the rest of the country. They have no state income tax. They have limits on property taxes. They have an, a medium sales tax. I believe it's 6%. It's really a very well-run state, as states go. But Gillum wants to turn Florida into California. He wants to turn Florida into New Jersey. He wants to turn Florida into New York. Or worse. Or worse. Now we do have uh, some audio, if I can find it, of course, of, uh, of what he has said. And let's see here, Mr. Producer. Where, where is he with the, uh, with the let's get rid of ice? Can you help me? I had to wake up, Mr. Producer. Yeah, number five. Let's hear this. He's on CNN. Go. They're already coming for you based on your message. Ron DeSantis, the Republican nominee, had a statement last night about you, Andrew Gillum. He says you want to abolish ICE. You do, correct? Uh, we want to replace ICE uh, with the Department of Justice, uh, okay. so- an entity that has not been tarnished in the same way as, as ICE has. Oh, well, that's pretty funny. I would love to ask all these people who want to get rid of ICE, do you know what ICE does? So they want to get rid of ICE because the most radical, irresponsible elements in their coalition oppose ICE. What does ICE do? Fundamentally, what does ICE do? ICE is, I believe, the first or second largest federal law enforcement agency. The Border Patrol handles the border and areas near the border, and ICE goes into your communities to find MS-13, to find kidnapped people, to look for criminals, and to put them through the deportment process. Why would you want to get rid of ICE? And what is the Department of Justice? What is the Department of Justice going to do? What are they going to do? Send the antitrust lawyers? The civil division lawyer? What are they going to do? Send Robert Mueller on the board? Well, that actually might be a good idea. But what, what are they going to do? See, this is a very slippery, silly connivance and i have something to replace ice the department of justice that'll replace ice go ahead he, so that he, he says you want to abolish ice you say you want to replace it that's basically the same thing he says you want a billion dollar tax increase he says you want single-payer health care system as florida you do want medicare for all correct 
uh, I am a champion uh, for treating health care as a right and not a privilege. That's now, why are you a champion of anything? You're a politician. You've been a mayor. He's a champion of treating health care as a right, not a privilege. Well, as I've said before, ladies and gentlemen, if health care is a right, if health care is a right, then all of you veterans, you have a right to health care whenever you want it, wherever you want it. You have a right to whatever medicine that you need and whatever care you need. And you have a right to have it timely, immediately. What does that mean, it's a right and not a privilege? What it means is he's a socialist. And what he also means is health care is a right, but actual medical treatment? Now, nah, that's a whole other story. Is health care a right in Venezuela? Yes, it is. Health care was a right in the old Soviet Union. Health care is a right in Cuba. Really? And are people going there for treatment? No, they're not. Why? Because you can't get it. If you get it, it's lousy. Go ahead. Right. Uh, And expanding Medicaid uh, in the state of Florida for over 700,000 people who right now don't have access to. I'm telling you, you're going to have folks, you're going to have income taxes in Florida. This guy's elected because you can't pay for any of this stuff any other way. So Florida will turn into every other state. I'm just telling you now, he's going to destroy Medicare. He's going to destroy Medicaid. He's going to destroy your tax system. He's going to destroy the quality of life because that's what socialists do. They don't create a shining city on the hill. They create a depressing, bleak environment. Go ahead. This state, about $6 billion in federal money that should be coming to Florida that right now is being distributed to other states. Uh, But I happen to believe that that's not left or right or center, uh, that that's basic and common for the for the everyday people. Yeah, it's not left, right. You see, uh, he's got the talking point. So he's a radical leftist. And DeSantis is a racist. But hey. He's for uniting the people of Florida, and uh, of course, he's not right, left, or center. He's just, you know what, maybe he's not. He's radical, hard left. That's where he is. Go ahead. They need it, Uh, and as governor, it's my job to deliver that. Oh, okay. Well, Florida, you have a clear-cut choice, man. I'm not kidding. Clear-cut choice. Now... What about Trump? Same interview, same network, CNN. Should Trump be impeached? They asked the mayor of Tallahassee. Cut six, go. It won't be your job if you are elected governor, but do you think the president should be impeached? Now stop right there. Isn't that a lovely question? The question has absolutely nothing to do what he w- about what he would do as governor. Why doesn't he ask him, do you favor a state income tax? Where are you going to come up with the money on Medicaid. Well, we get that from the federal government. It runs out. All the states are left holding the bag under Obamacare. Go ahead. Absolutely do. I think he's, he's already incriminated himself by interfering mm-hmm. with the Department of Justice, firing Jim Comey, of whom I'm no fan of, uh, but basically obstructing justice. And ever since that time, he has uh, uh, only driven deeper uh, down a pretty dark hole. So there you go. Every imaginable kook, radical position you can think of. He embraces. And not only that, then he pretends it's not Republican, it's not Democrat. So Trump should be impeached. Medicare should be destroyed and replaced with single payer. Medicaid should be massively expanded to include all sorts of pay level, income level of people. There should be a 40% Corporate income tax rate. What's this guy running for? Is he running for uh, president of Cuba or what? The old Soviet Union's dead, I thought, except apparently in the minds and heart of the radical left in the Democrat Party. Go ahead. For himself, but for this country. Yeah. Now, who is uh, who's this fellow? This uh, who is who is Michael Starr Hopkins? Democratic strategist. I talked about this the other day. People keep showing Democratic strategist, Democratic opera. I've never heard of these people before. But apparently he served on Obama and Hillary campaigns. Michael Starr Hopkins. And he's so brilliant uh, that I believe this is MSNBC, not CNN. 
uh, that he was brought on MSNBC. Cut four, go. Do you accept the fact that he may not have made, met this in a, in, a, in a racist way? No, absolutely not. He knew where he was when he said it, and he knew the audience he was talking to. And just to build upon uh, the previous... Why do leftists insist that non-racist things are racist? Have you thought about that? Why do they insist? Here's a headline. DeSantis under fire for saying Florida voters shouldn't monkey this up by electing Gillum. That's not what he said. He didn't say Florida voters shouldn't monkey this up by electing Gillum. That's not what he said. He said Florida voters shouldn't monkey this up by embracing socialism. Absolutely incredible. We'll be right back. Mark Lovin. By the way, I wonder how many of the people in Florida who have Cuban ancestry who fled or whose ancestors fled from Cuba and that utopian socialist state. I wonder what they think of what Mr. Gullum has to say. And many of those individuals are people of color, you know. In fact, the vast majority. I wonder about relatively new arrivals from Venezuela. I wonder what they think about Mr. Gillum and his brand of socialism. What do they think about it? Most of the people who flee these communist regimes and get to Florida, they don't leave Florida for, say, well, one of the blue states. They like Florida because it's free. It's a free state. The Democrats are trying to take it. They want to destroy it. They can take Florida. It becomes very, very difficult for Republicans to win national elections. They take Texas. It's impossible for Republicans to win any presidency. 